Steve, we tracked you down at Southern Manufacturing 2019. Now, a couple of months ago when I saw you at the Seco Innovation event, you said to me that you've got updates on the arm. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Tell us what, what is really featuring on this now. Yes, Mark, the main, the main updates really on the arm is we've gone for a much more modular approach. Uh, with, the, with the existing arm previously, we had to take the, uh, we didn't have the ability to remove the scanning head, whereas now we find, because we can remove the scanning head, and the handle, we've got a lot more flexibility on certain parts to drop down into cavities, let's say on a, an engine block or get to areas before where we were, we were restricted. And is that based on customer demand, sort of saying, look, you know, we've got this issue, can it be more flexible? Or is it just uh, the next generation of the development of the arm? I think it's both actually, that, you know, customers, they, they want this extra flexibility, not to just be able to do standard parts, they can get down into areas they couldn't access before. But I think it's you know it's it's it is customer demand as well as us wanting to give the best the best in the technology. And looking at the software now, you you are very very well known Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence about innovation. Does the software sort of match the new uh, attractions to the actual arm? Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's a seamless operation now, and I think that the big selling point with this new scanner is the speed of data acquisition. But the big thing is this cross-platform now, where we can load it onto the CMM, a vision system, a laser tracker, all the systems that we have. It's one standard platform now, which is which is really really good. Um Looking at this in the field, have you got customers have actually sort of taken the new arm and, and seen those benefits? Yeah, I mean, it was launched back in late August uh, 2018, and since then we've got multiple people that have traded in the old arms and are using the new technology, and I say that the feedback has been, uh, been really, really positive. That's interesting. You say about tradings, is, is that some, something that you guys actually offer? Yeah, yeah, see, we have a, a lot of the demonstration stock that, that was the old stock, we'll then go and we'll sell that on to customers to... Uh, let them upgrade if it's a smaller company for instance and then the big OEMs they are now upgrading to the new kit to uh, have the latest technology. And that's one thing I find with Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence you know you're not just all about the blue chip companies the bigger companies are you? No I mean we do starter packages you know for the tier one tier two down the supply chain you know we find it helps them to get onto the onto the ladder of inspection and then they can upgrade you know as and when the availability arises. So any engineers that may be looking uh, at a, a new inspection or measurement product, can you give demos? For sure, yeah. Say we, we're here at the show today to, uh, to, to just do just that, and then we will go on site afterwards and do a, do a tailored demo on any parts that the customer needs, really. So what would be your message for any engineers that are actually looking for a new innovation on inspection or measurement? Yeah, but, you know, certainly give Hexagon a call. We've got uh, machines now from, from any aspect of... Uh, measuring down to single microns up to uh, the size of a football pitch and beyond. So, uh, you know, anything you need, give us a call. And I, I know at uh, the Silverstone uh, facility you've got, you've got a great demo room there, so I presume that's a main hub for a, a lot of people to visit. Definitely, yeah, that, we encourage people to come there, have a look around, it's a nice location. Uh, it's got a big draw for people coming onto the, you know, the site where, the, where the, the Grand Prix is. So, uh, yeah, please give us a call and come and have a look. Cheers, Steve. Thank you, Mark.